If for some reason this ends up as the beginning of the video and I haven't introed what DoorDash is and how it works and all that, let this be a very convenient segue to all that information. Some of you might be wondering, what is DoorDash? DoorDash is an on-demand food delivery service that lets customers order from various restaurants and stores. The customer orders the food, the restaurant accepts the online order and prepares it, then a DoorDash driver like me picks it up and delivers it to the customer's home or workplace. Pretty simple, right? I've been doing DoorDash for two months now, and so far it's been pretty easy. Coming from someone who is a full-time student, it can be really stressful working at a job that requires a lot from me, or isn't flexible with hours. Since I started working for DoorDash, I became my own boss. I get top priority on picking my schedule and can choose whenever I want to work. I get to drive around while listening to my favorite music, I don't have to split tips with my coworkers at the end of each shift, and the boss lets me off early sometimes because I'm her favorite. Another thing that I really like about this job is that on average, I make a about $15 an hour. Plus, if you deliver to nicer neighborhoods and get orders from fancier restaurants, you're likely to receive a more generous tip. If you're interested in signing up to become a Dasher, feel free to use my referral code. I'll leave it linked in the comments and the description box down below to help get you started. But now that I've explained a little bit of how it works, it's time to take you on a ride along with me. Let's go. So as you know, today we're working DoorDash. Here's what the homepage looks like when you're supposed to dash. As you can see, I'm supposed to be dashing from three to nine. So let me start my shift. Before every shift, you have to make sure that you have enough gas, you have your company card, you have the red bag, and you have enough charge on your phone. So. Um, so I'm gonna start dashing. I click start dashing and then it takes me online and it starts looking for orders And so all I have to do really is just sit back and wait Okay, so I just got my first order it is worth seven dollars and twelve cents including tips I'm just going to accept it. I'm supposed to pick up the order by 407. It is now 356 and I am right here at the restaurant already so I'm going to slide after I arrived. It tells me that I'm picking up two orders of french fries and two chicken sandwiches. All I have to do is just walk in there and ask for the order for Veronica. Emma? Now it's time to drive to the address. It is 15 minutes away from me. Now that I just dropped off the order, I have to click slide after delivery and then it asks me to rate my experience. And then there, I'm done. And then I just move on to the next. I got the goods. Now I'm gonna put it in the company bag just to make sure that everything stays warm. Then turn right. Delivery was a success. So I thought that while I was waiting for my next order, I'd break down a little bit more of DoorDash for you. When you order with DoorDash, you as the customer are able to rate the Dasher. So I'm gonna go to my ratings and just <laughs> sprag a little bit because you know your girl. You know your girl, okay? For customer rating, I have a perfect score. I have five stars. Wow, Alyssa, customers absolutely love you. Way to go, thanks, what can I say? Acceptance rate, so based on the last 100 deliveries that I've done, I've accepted 95%. So what this means is when a delivery opportunity comes to me, I always have the option to either decline or accept it. 95% of the time, um, I always accept it because why would I not accept it? Unless there's a place where like I just really don't wanna go or there's this one place that I've been to that literally took like 30 
minutes to give me my customers food so I did I dip no no no. I stayed there I was pissed I was fuming and y'all know me <laughs> y'all know me all right I keep my mouth shut <laughs> people do me wrong and I keep my mouth shut so I waited in that line for like 30 minutes for this customer's order and it was just the worst time ever so yeah I'm never gonna accept an order from that place so there are certain instances where like it's convenient to be able to decline an offer moving on to the completion rate I have 95% as well which means that I follow through with 95% of the deliveries now that I think about it the only time I've ever canceled a couple orders was when the customer themselves canceled the order so I had to cancel the entire dash in itself I don't think I've ever canceled on someone but I mean I have 95% so like I'm I don't really care. On time or early, I have 92%. Let me tell you, okay, your girl's always on time. I'm always trying to be there on time or before the time. But sometimes the people at the restaurant, they take forever with your order. So they make you a little bit later than you are supposed to be. The last category is lifetime deliveries which means every delivery I've ever completed. And I have done 101 deliveries. I made it past 100. Let's go. Usually on weekends, it is very busy, but for some reason, it's so slow. So if I click on the button that says help, click on why am I not getting orders, it says because it's really slow in my area and that there might be too many dashers on the road right now. Hey guys, welcome back. It is the next day. So the app was down, which is another thing that happens not super often, but like often enough, which kind of sucks. And the company definitely needs to fix that. So that is like a real experience that I have from time to time. So hopefully we get some orders today. It's not too crazy. It's not slow or anything. Oh, I got an order. It was in the moment that things started to look up for Alyssa. <gasps> That was genuine, that was so ugly, but look at that. Bitch, yes. Oh my God. I'm doing a catering. That has never happened before. What? Okay. So I'm, it's a catering, I'm like confused. So it's a catering for Chipotle. I'm literally right in front of Chipotle right now. So I'm gonna slide that I'm already here. How does this work? I guess we'll find out. Well, let's go to Chipotle. Dude, that's insane. Wow, I'm glad I was recording. Oh my God. Chipotle is my life. I'm picking up for the catering. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, we'll follow you up. Okay, perfect. Where'd you park? Right here, the red car. Perfect. Is it for a party? I have no idea. I'm just as confused oh, as you are. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. What the flip is up? I'm fucking hyped right now so i'm gonna be catering all of this today i have never done this before i'm like kind of excited but kind of nervous so the customer paid like a hundred dollars for this 105 dollars, and i'm supposed to deliver by five it is 4 30 and it's an eight minute drive so i'm gonna be there pretty early let's freaking do this It's just two more boxes. Thank you, <gasps> oh my god. That was so easy. How cool was that? Like my first one was like really good. Can I have one grilled steak soft taco? Chicken soft taco? A nachos bel grande? Three bean burritos? Four Doritos Locos tacos? So I just placed the order. They got 12 items. This is the first one that I'm using with my company card. There you go, that's everything inside. Okay, thank you. You too. Now it's time to go to our destination, which is like five minutes away, and it's in a gated community. Another thing that I love about this job is that I get to go into neighborhoods that I wouldn't normally go into. Some very fancy, like high-class neighborhoods. Whenever I pull into a house that looks like just so beautiful, I'm just like, damn, I'm gonna live in a house like that one day. Ooh. 
I actually just ate here today. See, I'm telling you, like yesterday was kind of a flop, but today is a really, really good day to dash. It's usually very, very good on the weekends. Let's drive. I'm picking up a DoorDash for Farheen. several times but they're not picking up the phone so basically they have four minutes and 20 seconds until they can claim their order and if they don't claim their order by then i am free to leave and i get to keep the food that's actually happened once to me before the lady had like literally two minutes before the order was going to be canceled and i could take the food and i was so hungry so i was really like crossing my fingers hoping that she wouldn't make it in time but long story short she did and she got her order this person has three minutes i'm not sure what's the deal but i texted them and i called them and they're not answering so oh i just got an order Ooh, taco bell cool just as i shut off the camera to tell you guys that he has three minutes the customer literally just came like he like took off his sunglasses and he was like looking into my car not like weird but like he was like looking at me to see if like i was his delivery driver i guess the app wasn't letting him call me and the calls that i sent to him weren't going through listen y'all i don't know what the hell is a bodordash but they pay me good, so. <laughs> You're doing okay. Oh, okay, so I'm delivering to a security gate. Hi. Jessica? Yes. I have your DoorDash order. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, it's so pretty here. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that. It's beautiful here. Look at that gate, so fancy. Oh my god. Secured the bags. Bag and drink. The destination is on your left. On to the next. You're... I got it. <laughs> So it is now 8.35, it's dark outside. This is gonna be my last stash of the night because it is getting late and I've done pretty well today. So I have a big order from Burger King and I'm about to drive through right now, so let's go. Hi, welcome to Burger King, how can I help you? So in total I have four double cheese burgers, two large fries, two Oreo steaks, and two double whoppers with cheese, one with no pickles, and then one bacon cake add pickles mayo. Yes. 45, 44? I'm thinking, it's a lot of food for no one. <laughs> It's actually not for me. Oh. It's um DoorDash? Um. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of food though. Okay guys, so I just finished that last dash. I will put the total amount of money that I made today, the total of hours I worked for this shift. So I hope that this gave you a little bit of an idea of how DoorDash works and what I do as a job currently. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, please feel free to ask them down below in the comments. I will be replying to comments as I always do, and I'll answer any questions you guys have, but that is it for this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Now that I'm done feeding my entire community, it's time for me to feed myself. So I am gonna go eat right now, relax, enjoy the rest of my night, and I will catch you guys on the next one. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.